let's, uh, let, let's get started. Uh, first of all, uh, thanks to everyone for, uh, for coming this morning. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, um, uh, 200 people are registered, and we had over 100 on a waiting list. So uh, for me, that, that counts as a, a, a big success. Um, I, I'm not sure that everyone uh, uh, knows, but this is actually the, uh, uh, the, the third in a series of, uh, of Open vSwitch gatherings. The, uh, uh, the, the first one, which was uh, uh, 12 or 18 months ago, uh, um, sometime in that range, uh, was a, a purely, uh, purely virtual uh, uh, event that we call the Virtual Hackathon. And we, uh, uh, we invited uh, <coughs> people from, uh, from all over to uh, pick out a, a feature on the Open vSwitch to-do list and, uh, and work on it during a, a 48 hour period. And uh, that, that was a, a resounding success. We got a lot of uh, uh, good contributions from it. And then uh, um, uh, maybe six to 12 months ago, I don't remember the exact timing, uh, we, we had a second event that we, we also called the Hackathon uh, that, that was hosted physically at, at Cisco. Um, and uh, I, I want to thank Cisco for that. Um, that, that event, um, we had probably 50 people uh, show up over the, uh, over the two days. And even though we'd build it as a hackathon, uh, most of the people who came uh, wanted to hear talks. So we did a bunch of impromptu talks at that event. And I decided that if we were going to do it again, I would build it as a conference and, uh, and, and invite talks. So uh, uh, that's, the, uh, uh, that's the event we're at today. So uh, b before we uh, uh, really get going, I thought I'd take uh, just a minute to uh, uh, to talk about what Open vSwitch is. Uh, maybe some of you are, uh, are new and are, are interested in, uh, in, in finding out. So th this is the description uh, we've had on the, uh, on the website uh, for, a, uh, for a long time. I, I won't read it to you, you can read it. Uh, but uh, to me, uh, <clears throat> the exciting part about Open vSwitch is that you can use it to write a program uh, to control your network. Uh, the, the way that you write that program uh, is, is kind of unusual as programming languages go. Uh, you write it as a series of flows in open flow flow tables, uh, but it is quite uh, powerful. Um, and uh, I, I think that if you took the trouble to, uh, uh, to figure it out, you'd, you'd find out that in fact it's, uh, it's turn complete. Um, so the, the, the second part of that is that it's fast. Um, and uh, <clears throat> it was a little harder for me to say that uh, two years ago uh, because uh, there were some important corner cases uh, where Open vSwitch was not fast enough. But uh, we, we've been working hard on that for the last two years, and now um, uh, we'll, we'll find out uh, um, uh, today exactly what uh, kinds of ridiculous terms you can use to uh, describe its speed. Uh, and finally, uh, Open vSwitch is portable. It's been ported to uh, several operating systems, to uh, uh, several hypervisors um, to multiple cloud management systems, and we really want to encourage people to uh, port it to others. Um, and, and one thing that I, uh, I left off of this list is that uh, uh, Open vSwitch isn't limited to uh, working as a vSwitch. Uh, you can use it to control a physical switch appliance that's software-based, um, and it's even been ported to uh, uh, control uh, ASIC-based switches. And maybe some of our talks will, uh, will mention some of those uh, some of those ports. So uh, this is something that, I, uh, that I've done at talks in the past, uh, where I've uh, decided to, to highlight the people who've, uh, uh, who've recently uh, entered what I call the Open vSwitch Hall of Fame. And that, that Hall of Fame is people who've contributed at least, uh, at least 10 commits uh, to the source tree. Uh, most of the uh, talks today won't be uh, uh, <coughs> getting into uh, uh, details quite that uh, that technical, but I uh, uh, we we do have some uh, uh, some new people since the last time I uh, uh, gave a talk. Um, that date down there is is wrong. Um, I believe that should say uh, September 2014 because uh, these these are only the people uh, who've uh, gone from no commits or fewer than 10 uh, to uh, 10 or more uh, in the last few months. So I want to say thank you to. Uh, uh, to those people and to all of our uh, uh, contributors. So uh, I, I don't have uh, uh, too much uh, uh, technical um, to, to say during this talk, so I'll just uh, uh, use it to uh, point out some of the logistics for today. Uh, first of all, um, if you're looking for the bathrooms, uh, you just 
head, uh, head straight that way, there's a sign that, uh, uh, that points you down a hall. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't already figured it out, um, uh, Wi-Fi is uh, on the VM guest network. It's an open network. You don't need any uh, password or login, and there's no captive portal. Um, if, uh, if you find yourself uh, um, some other places on VMware campus, sometimes it's known as VM errors, uh, VM guest, but it works the same way. Um, in addition to this uh, conference room that we have uh, all day today and tomorrow, uh, we have uh, two more uh, conference rooms uh, um, uh, reserved for us that are much smaller. Um, if, if you want to uh, uh, break off for some group discussions, um, then uh, uh, feel free to, uh, to go off and use them, or you could uh, even just use them as a, a quiet place to uh, work on your laptop or, or do some hacking if you, uh, if, if you feel so inclined. Uh, to, uh, uh, to find those conference rooms, uh, uh, go out uh, uh, down the hall the same way and uh, uh, follow, the, uh, um, follow the arrow toward the restrooms. Um, and uh, the, the, the conference rooms reserved for us have, have signs on them. So uh, feel free to use those. So uh, a little more. Uh, no food or drink is allowed inside the auditorium. Um, each, each day we'll have uh, um, breakfast uh, uh, just outside uh, um, from 8.30 to 9.30. Uh, we also have a, um, a, a lunch um, each day uh, from 11.30 till 1. Um, there's, uh, there's coffee and, and water available all the time. Uh, just, uh, um, just, follow, just go outside the door and uh, uh, instead of turning where it says uh, uh, going to the bat uh, where the arrow to the bathroom is, just uh, continue past the sign and uh, the little kitchen area will be on your left. Um, the, uh, if we run out of coffee, please brew up another pot. Um, if, uh, if, if you get hungry um, and, it's, uh, and the, the, the lunch is not open, uh, there is a, a cafe uh, across, the, uh, uh, across the breezeway just outside the, uh, um, uh, just outside the auditorium. Um, that, that's open from 11 till 2. Um, if you go downstairs from that, um, then uh, there's an espresso and ice cream shop. Um, the, the ice cream is pretty good there, and uh, there, there's, also a, um, there's also an ATM uh, in the, the lower level there. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the things I'm excited about today is the reception tonight. Um, it, uh, it, it's from 6 to 10 p.m. Um, in, the, uh, uh, in, in, the cafe, in the cafe area uh, across the breezeway, um, and we'll have, uh, we'll have appetizers, beer, and wine. Um, but the exciting part is the robots. Uh, I, I hired these guys who do, uh, um, who do uh, robot fighting. They bring in these, uh, uh, these little, uh, um, little 150 gram class robots. Um, they, they bring in two of these, two of these arenas and uh, hand you the remote controls. And you can do one-on-one uh, uh, -on -one battles. You can do, uh, uh, say, three-on-three -three battles. Um, and uh, your, your goal is to, uh, to flip your opponents off the, uh, off the arena onto the floor. I've, I've hired the, I hired these guys a few months ago for my own birthday party. It was amazing. So uh, um, it, it's a lot of fun. So uh, um, the, uh, the, the robot fighting is sponsored by uh, uh, Open Daylight and the Linux Foundation. And uh, I, uh, I, I say thank you to them. Uh, we should have T-shirts uh, um, uh, available tomorrow, I believe. Um, it looks like we got the year wrong on them, so uh, <coughs> so 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 next year we'll uh, uh, we'll have to make the T-shirts say 2014. And uh, that's our, uh, our our new logo there on the uh, on the back. Um, I, I like it a lot more than what people sometimes thought was a logo, which was just the text on the website that just said Open vSwitch. So uh, to talk about our agenda, we have 11 talks scheduled for today. We have another 11 talks scheduled for tomorrow. Um, the Eventbrite site where you signed up uh, for tickets has the information. I also have a link to it, uh, to that Eventbrite site from the openvswitch.org main page. So uh, you can use that as, a, uh, as an easy, easy place to get to it. Um, so uh, our, our general format here is that uh, each talk will be uh, uh, 25 minutes long uh, with a, another uh, five minutes afterward for, for questions, for, uh, uh, for, for allowing for, uh, uh, for scheduling screw-ups and, and, and so on. 
Um, we, we have a couple of handheld mics down here. Uh, and so if you're going to ask a question, then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get someone to, to pass around a mic to you so that uh, um, everybody uh, um, listening uh, uh, via streaming and, uh, uh, and, and in the recordings can, can hear the questions as well. And it would be kind for the, the speakers to, uh, uh, to try to repeat the questions um, before they answer them. Um, if, if you're speaking, uh, please, uh, um, please go see Adrian, who's in the back there, um, to, uh, uh, to get mic'd up before your talk. Um, we have uh, 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 enough mics that, uh, uh, that uh, for most of the talks that don't only have one person at least, uh, everyone should be able to get a, um, uh, a, a body mic. Um, otherwise, we'll, uh, we'll have to use the, uh, the handheld ones. So um, <clears throat> we'll, we'll have someone during the talks uh, um, uh, positioned in the front to, uh, to let you know when you have five minutes left and when you have one minute left. And, uh, um, uh, and, and try to keep things moving that way. Uh, so uh, we may try to do a, a, a group photograph at, uh, at, at lunch today uh, for, uh, as, uh, to, to put up on the website. Um, I'll, I'll have more information about that later. So uh, this is the first time I've ever organized anything like this. And so um, I, I could really use feedback on uh, what I did right, what I did wrong, um, if you had trouble finding the place, if. Uh, um, if it was too difficult to get badges, et cetera. Um, so uh, please uh, feel free to uh, um, send honest feedback to me um, or to the, uh, uh, the, the conference alias. Um, and uh, during or after the conference, uh, feel free to, uh, to, to tweet or to uh, discuss things on our IRC channel at Freenode um, or to uh, um, have discussions on the mailing list. Um, and I, I have to say thanks to everyone who, uh, who uh, helped uh, organize the conference. Um, in, uh, uh, Martin uh, um, ended up uh, first in alphabetical order, but uh, um, he's, he's also uh, uh, probably the, uh, the most important supporter uh, because uh, uh, whenever anybody at VMware had questions and I could say, Martin supports this, it, uh, it magically uh, was okay. So uh, uh, a big thanks to, uh, to everyone there. Uh, so this is, a, uh, this is a collage of, uh, of what you get uh, when you go to uh, um, uh, Google image search and type in, uh, uh, type in OVS. Uh, uh, apparently there's a, a clothing store uh, called OVS. Uh, so, so that's why you see so many uh, models in the, uh, in the picture. Uh, so uh, we, we have uh, um, a, a few more minutes uh, before our, our uh, first talk is scheduled to start. Um, if anybody has any questions, I can take those now, or we can uh, uh, just, just have a, a, a brief break uh, before we really get started with the talk. Does anybody have any questions? All right, well, uh, um, let's, uh, let, let's plan to resume, resume in just a few minutes at, at 10 a.m. Thanks to everyone for coming.